in our fellowship hall. I'm anxious for this room to be filled with people again. But you know, you walk into a restaurant and the waiter asks, what can I get you? Or you walk into a department store and uh, the clerk asks, may I help you? Or you go into a car dealership and the salesperson asks, what can I show you? There are lots of people out there who are wanting to help us satisfy our appetites. But the things they're offering will only satisfy our cravings for a little while. Uh, they always come back. Jesus asked a really important question. He said, what do you want me to do for you? He was talking to a couple of blind men. And what they wanted was, was obvious, but he wanted them not only to recognize their need, he wanted them to recognize him. It's a good question for you and me today. What do we want Jesus to do? Do we want him to take away the disease? Do we want him to make us rich? Do we want him to fix our marriage? Do we want him to straighten out our kids? Do we want him to give us a job, a good job? What do you want Jesus to do for you? The point of the story was not to see Jesus as some sort of blank check. But the point of the story was to see Jesus. What do you want Jesus to do for you?